Hello. So here's the deal with the deal. I was putting on my makeup for a Zoom call that I have with some potential roommates that I might be moving in with in Brighton when I go there for college in September. All going well. Um, and I thought I would do a review of some products that nobody asked for. Um, and also while I'm doing that, I'm going to be sipping on this because my neighbours got some pints delivered from the local pub and they had one too many strawberry jackies, so they gave me one. And um, it's my first drink from a pub in like three months. Uh, and I'm really enjoying it. But it is basically like a slushy just with some Bacardi in it, I'm fairly sure, but it's good. Before I go ahead, do like and subscribe. I would be super appreciative. And if you have any suggestions on videos you'd like to see from me, do leave them below in the comment section. I would love some feedback. The brand Sculpted by Amy is an Irish brand created by one of Ireland's top makeup artists, Amy Connolly. I'll leave her handle here so you can go find her on Instagram. And yeah, I just like supporting um, Irish brands as an Irish person and um, definitely something that is really, really nice like this. It's an Irish brand. So I thought I would do a little review for people who might not know the brand and want to look into it or maybe try it out. Okay, so there's gonna be two products today. The first is the Sculpted by Amy Beauty Base. Second is Sculpted by Amy Second Skin Matte Foundation. I'm gonna start off with this one as it is the base and I have it underneath my foundation at the moment. So, Sculpted by Amy Beauty Base. You can wear this on bare skin for a radiant and protected base every day as it does have SPF 30 in it. Or you can mix it in with your foundation if you want a quick glow. I like to put it under my foundation and then put my foundation on top as I do have quite um, an oily T-zone and when I put these likes of these primers on, it can just look really slick, really greasy and sweaty and it's not what... I want. So SPF 50, SPF 30, um, hyaluronic acid for hydration, it has peptides for skin conditioning and it does have a golden glow finish. So I'm going to show you what it looks like. It's a soft plastic tube with hard top and it's a pump and it comes out white. If I can get some squirted on, it's a tiny bit. Um, but when you rub it in it starts to have this golden sheen and a little bit as you can see goes a long way so I suppose if you wanted to wear it on your skin kind of like in the sun it is so nice and dewy and golden and it'll just give you that nice fresh glow nice look um yeah you'll be stunning so it is 24.99 I think that is a bit a good price but I'm going to come back to the price point later on in the video for the two of them and um compare them to other brands and uh things like that so yeah um i wear it under my skin and yeah it does give that dewy glow you know when you put matte on top um it's very hard to wear dewy foundations when you have oily skin because it does just look really slick so this is how i achieve my dewiness and i definitely rate it Second is the Second Skin Foundation, sculpted by Amy. And this is the matte finish. Amy does have a dewy finish available on her website as well. But this foundation, I chose the matte one for obvious reasons. As I keep saying, I look really slick. slick. Um, this is a mineral-based foundation, so it's going to be better for your skin than, say, your standard foundation. It's going to have those minerals that are going to nourish your skin while you're wearing it as well. Not only is it mineral and it will help your skin, it is also factor 50, SPF 50 in this foundation, which means you can go out, you don't have to wear SPF underneath it. It's gonna really, really protect your skin. It's oil and talc free, which is really nice because I think with a lot of matte foundations, they can look really talky and cakey and it just doesn't have that nice finish to it. But this one, definitely I would say second skin is quite an apt name for it um none of her products are tested on animals they're all vegan and cruelty free which is a big plus for me 
And the reason I was able to buy this online was because Amy on her Instagram had color matched all her foundation shades to many popular shades in kind of bigger brands. So she has the likes of MAC, NARS and um, Estee Lauder. I used to wear Estee Lauder double wear and I was pale almond, but then I figured like the major company tests on animals still. So it wasn't really something that I wanted to support. Um, but I used to wear pale almond and Amy had color matched. Uh, I think it's fair plus 2.5. Um, two pale almonds so I bought it online and it's a perfect match like I don't have anything on my skin and you can't see like a big line I don't think so yeah I'm really really happy with it and um, it is hydrating it does have the hyaluronic acid in it as well uh, with skin calming lavender and aloe vera extract it does smell a little bit like licorice or like when you go up to the chemist or the pharmacy and at the very front there's like all the cough drops and stuff. It smells a bit like that. It's not unpleasant. This one is stunning. It smells like fresh roses. Really, really nice. Um, but I'll show you the second skin on my hand now. So again, it's the same soft tube and a pump applicator. Again, a little bit goes a long way and it comes out like that. So this is supposed to be a medium buildable foundation and I would tend to agree it's definitely something that's really nice and light for the summertime you know like it, it's breathable and in the likes of the heat in the summer um, you want something that is going to be that's going to allow your skin to breathe and you don't feel like you've something really heavy sitting on your face the entire time so I definitely think um, if that sounds like a foundation you would like I would definitely recommend it so going back to price point 24.99 i definitely think that's a fair price i mean you get 50 mils in it it's massive um you know a lot of the likes of max strobe cream and stuff like that would be more expensive um and i know you do get a lot in that as well but i know i just really really like this it's really light and um it smells quite nice there's also no flashback on either of these you know when you have a camera um at night time if you're on a night out and the flash is on and you have that like vampire look your face is pasty in the picture this doesn't happen with this foundation you still have your natural skin color coming through on the photo which is really really good um i think especially if you want to wear it for like a night out or any photo shoots you might be doing i don't know um so yeah but the 24.99 is definitely a fair price um you'll you'd get 12 mils for something like I don't know, a tenner, 15 quid um, with the likes of L'Oreal, Lumi Magique or anything like that. So you're getting loads in this. A little goes a long way. I definitely think 24 99 is fair and I would rate this. I would recommend it to a friend. The second skin foundation is 27 euro on Amy's website. I'll leave everything linked below, everything in this video on Amy's website and Instagram and stuff like that. And yeah, it's a, it's a fair price point again. It's definitely better than kind of drugstore makeups. Um, more expensive, but better. You won't get a drugstore makeup that is like mineral um, based with SPF in it and all the different little bits that this comes with. It's cheaper than high-end brands, um, but I would say on par with them. I definitely think it would be, yeah, on par with them. I like wouldn't see much of a difference. I've tried a few. I've tried MAC, you know, I've tried Urban Decay, Estee Lauder, things like that. Um, I would say that this is definitely on par with the higher brands. So yeah, again, I would rate this to, and recommend it to a friend. This actually came in a bundle on Amy's website which was 47 euro altogether so you got a couple of euro knock off there yeah really really good something that you can simply buy online she has loads of information there i think she's really informative when it comes to how to color match and also what type of formula suits your skin so i definitely think you should give amy a little look try and support her if you can she has loads of other products i think Ooh, nearly dropped it I think this comes in like a pearly shade, like a pinky pearl. There's also a bronze base, which you leave on overnight and it gives your face like a little um, kind of glow, bronzy glow and self-tanner. Amy also has 
um lip duos and and lip liner and lipstick things and she has um I think a contour kit as well that's supposed to be very good so yeah I would definitely rate Sculpted by Amy I am looking forward to trying her other products other products and also looking forward to see what else she has coming in the future so well done sculpted by amy definitely um a 10 out of 10 for me i can't fault this i also do want to say that i have been wearing these two for a month just to see how they sit on my skin and yeah they last all day and um, the longevity is really really good my skin's breathable and especially in weather like today the sun's beaming down it's 20 degrees um and I feel protective but I also feel like my skin can breathe and like I actually have foundation on. So guys thank you very much for watching this quick little review Um, I as I said I'll leave everything down below so you can go and find all of Amy's products on her Instagram. Do give me a like and a subscribe and if you have any suggestions on what you'd like me to do leave them below in the comment box but for now thank you and goodbye.